everyone. Good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us this evening to talk about laser printers. And it sounds like such a boring topic. But if you are a mobile notary, and especially if you are a notary signing agent, you know, as well as I do, a printer is one of the most important tools or pieces of equipment that we use. Um, this year, well, last year in particular, I was, um, well, let me back up again. I'm Michelle Riley. I'm coming to you out of North Alabama. Um, I'm the admin of the Notaries for Alabama Hangout Facebook group. Um, if you know Brenda Stone, you should know that name, Brian, Kim, and Nubian. Hey, Nubian, I see you've unmuted now. Welcome. Uh, Thank you. Yeah, glad to have you here, representing North glad Carolina. Yeah. So last year, I was blown away at the number of posts that talked about not being able to find printers, the cost of the printers, and it, I mean, it really just seemed like a bottleneck. Now, granted, much of that could have been attributed to COVID, um, but maybe not. But it seemed as if the demand had far exceeded the supply. And so I started doing my own research. Um, and I mean, there are other reasons, just the cost, the availability, um, how printers weren't talking to computers, the whole, does it have to have two trays? It just seemed a little chaotic. Um, but I also noticed more posts in groups from signing agents who were talking about leasing larger printers at reasonable prices. And I had never considered that in the years that I've been a signing agent. Made some calls locally, nationally, never got a phone, either I didn't get a return phone call or no one picked up the phone. And that was until I reached out to Steve at Total Print USA. He responded right away, agreed to speak with us. Um, without any strings attached. There's no, so do not feel pressured to buy anything. And Steve, feel free to kick me under the table for saying that. Um, but based on the information he's provided me, we've talked um, maybe once or twice. I trust him enough to bring me here this evening. So without further ado, Steve Lastic, tell us a little bit about you and why you think that Total Print USA might be a good option for some of us signing agents. Sure, uh, so my name is Steve Lastic. I'm a uh, uh, assistant engineer at Total Print USA. Um, basically, um, we're based out of uh, Tampa, Florida, but we're uh, pretty much a nationwide managed print services company. And I'm gonna talk a little bit about that too tonight. Um, uh, explain some of the terminology with managed print and things like that so you better understand what kind of programs they are. Um, my my background is I, I've been in, in IT, like a pro, I was a computer program for a lot of years. And then I was a IT system administrator. And about 15, 16 years ago, I got into the, um, the print and copy business by uh, working at a, a different company. So I, I learned the whole background, how everything works. I was their IT director there. And um, for the most part, uh, you know, I, I helped with setting up like some of the more complex solutions that we had for, we were, we were putting systems in, you know, big uh, printers and copiers in the hospital. So um, it took quite a bit of uh, work to do that. But, um, but my background has been for the last 15 years in, in the printer and copier world. And I pretty much know this stuff inside and out. Um, one of the things that, you know, that, uh, and I'm going to show you a lot of is, is the HP uh, line, and uh, the the company that I actually work for, we're we're really owned by um, another company called Dex Imaging, and um, Dex Imaging is the uh, 
pretty much the largest cannon and Konica uh, copier dealer in, in the country. And um, so we have not just HP, we have Canon, Konica, Kia Sierra, Lexmark. We carry all the brands, um, but I'm going to say a lot of HP because I feel like, you know, in my whole career, the HP really gives you the biggest bang for your buck. You, you get a really good solid printer and at a low run rate. And it's, uh, they, they just last forever and ever and ever, and they, and they seem to work with everything. So, um, but, um, so that's my background there. And, um, and, and about, uh, I think it was about two years ago, uh, Dex Imaging actually got bought out by Staples. So we're actually all part of the Staples uh, network. So that, that expanded our service uh, footprint uh, to just about everywhere in the country now. You know, they, I think we cover about 95%. There's some remote locations we don't cover. But for the most part, we have either, you know, uh, uh, an actual office, office there, a service center, or tech in those areas. So we're, we're a nationwide company. So um, what I thought I would do is, you know, share some, uh, let me share my screen here. And I could share some uh, information I have. I, I thought I would just go over some of the basic um, um, uh, uh, stuff here. So uh, in that, now when I'm trying to share my screen, it's asking me, it says host disabled participant screen sharing. So is that, Michelle, is that something you can allow me to do? I can. Can you tell me, should I allow Steve, Steve Elastic to share or the telephone to share? I guess Steve Elastic. Yeah, this yeah, right. that's Stephen Lastic. The other one's my phone. I'm calling it on. Okay, yeah. that was done. Okay, so let me go ahead and do that. And um, so I'll bring up my um, uh, just some information I put together. So this is our company. Um, you know, what we do basically is, you know, we're, we're pitching for uh, the you know, some bigger companies where we're actually going in there and, and trying to, you know, manage their entire printer fleet where they have, you know, thousands of printers or hundreds of printers. So this is a little bit of a different uh, kind of information for, you know, you guys are just, a, you know, you're using a single printer or maybe a couple of printers in your, in your thing. So a lot of this doesn't pertain, but this shows our, our process. You know, we go in there and analyze um their printer fleet and try to optimize it for them basically what this is telling you here so that's just basically our company some information about our company um but i wanted to show you uh some of the different products that we have and this is just kind of a general overview of printers and copiers but with you know i'm showing you the hp brand here so you, you had asked about, you know, like the difference between, the, you know, the copiers, multifunction, uh, single function. So th these things go by a lot of different names in the copier and printer world. So, you know, some of them call it a copier, some of them call it a multifunction device. Um, HPs are called MFPs for multifunction printers. So they, they either come as a, you know, what they call a single function, which is just a printer, or a multifunction machine where you can uh, print, copy, scan, and fax. So almost any printer, I don't care whether it's Brother, Lexmark, HP, or whatever, you know, they pretty much have a flavor of a machine like this, either a small um, printer, you know, up to a larger printer, or a small desktop copier, all the way up to, you know, a larger uh, full-scale copier. And, you know, this one right here, this machine in the middle here, is um, basically you know this machine on a stand so you can make these things into like a little mini copier as well um, if necessary so in you know in the copier world you have these big giant machines that um that, that's the next thing i want to talk about is so they call that the a3 copier those are the bigger machines they usually cost a lot more money to either lease purchase or rent but the cost per page is a lot lower on these machines because they use huge cartridges in them. Um, you know, for example, like a small printer may only have uh, a 4,000 um, print cartridge. So every 4,000 pages, you're, you're buying a new cartridge, you're changing a new cartridge out. Um, then when you start moving up to in line, uh, you know, printer of maybe this size, uh, they start having 20 and 30 uh, with thousand cartridges as their yield. So you're getting a bigger 
amount of prints have the same you know out of a cartridge therefore the cost is going to be a little bit lower and then when you start getting into machines like this they're anywhere from 50,000 to 100,000 prints in a single uh, toner cartridge so um, that's kind of where those those run and I'll talk about a little bit about the pricing here in a minute and, and you can see the differences so a lot of times you'll, you'll hear when they say an A3 or A4 copier so an A3 is where it could print on 11 by 17. That's the bigger um, uh, sheet size. So most people don't print on that. Um, that's usually for like uh, graphic uh, CAD drawings or the other option is a lot of people will buy a booklet maker on this thing and it'll actually spit out a booklet. It'll take that 11 by 17 sheet of paper, fold it and they do a saddle stitch in the middle where it actually puts a stitching in there and it'll, uh, make it into a booklet. So the A4 machines are the most common um, and those are a little bit less expensive than the A3 machines. They, but they, they can only go eight and a half by uh, 14 inch uh, paper. So and that's the most common sizes. So legal and, and regular letter paper. Um, so the, you know, the, the other thing I wanna talk about is so you have ink versus toner or a color versus uh, mono printer. So you have pretty much two flavors of printers out there these days. You have inkjet printers, and then you have your uh, laser, which use toner. So the inkjets use ink cartridges, the laser use toner. Um, for the most part, the inkjet cartridges are, uh, they're fairly expensive and they usually cost you more money for inkjet printers than it does for a laser printer. The other thing with inkjet is you usually have to use a little bit better paper quality um, typically, they like to have you see, use the what they call color lock because what you're actually doing is you're spraying a you know it's like spray painting a, the piece of paper and when you use cheap paper it, it'll bleed out so it'll um, uh, make it look grainy or fuzzy so the color lock uh, locks that dot of ink when it gets sprayed on the paper right away so the the cost to run these are a little bit more expensive because of the ink and then also because of the um, uh, the, the paper is a little bit more expensive if you buy the right paper, if you want really good quality. And this is all about getting, you know, good quality prints out of your, out of your machines. Um, we have customers that have, that are printing, you know, barcodes and, and they bought cheap machines. And then after a little while, they, you know, they couldn't read the barcodes out in their factory and stuff. So they had to move up to the, uh, uh, you know, a laser printer. So the lasers will give you a lot better, usually quality, um, you know, the inkjets have their, you know, they have their own purpose too. If you're printing photos and stuff, the, the inkjets, uh, they're kind of a more vibrant looking uh, document because it's actually spraying ink on the page and you get a little scene with that ink versus a toner, you don't, you don't quite get that. So, you know, if you had good photo quality paper and you want to print a good paper, an inkjet is perfectly fine for that. But for your everyday business, you know, your, your toner or laser printer is going to be your best bet there. So I want to just show you some examples of pricing, like um, for for how you calculate like your cost per you know per page, you know what it costs you to run your printer. So uh, an ink cost, you know, you can buy ink jets fairly cheap. Like this is HP, I think it was an 8295 um, inkjet printer that they sell. It's a you know it's a multifunction, so you can scan, you can copy, it, it'll produce uh, really nice copies and in, in color and everything like that. Um, they cost around $300. Uh, you might be able to get them cheaper than that. And then, you know, this is just your, um, what they call OEM. When they say OEM, that's your original equipment manufacturer. That's versus uh, uh, compatible or reman. There's a lot of companies that will make a compatible set of cartridges, but this is just pricing for a, if you use the original um, cartridges that came with the HP. And as you can see, you don't get a whole lot of pages out of these ink, ink jets. You only get, you know, 1,600 pages. Now, they do have ones that get a lot more, but those are much more expensive ink jet printers. And then when you take that number, so if you take that $1,600 divided by the 35 bucks it costs for that cartridge, it costs you two cents to print your magenta. Uh, your yellow is the same. Your, black, your cyan is the same and all that. And your black. So in actuality, this is your cost per page when you print in color. You know, even if you 
only use a little bit of yellow. You know, these are all based upon average numbers and everything like that. You know, they're saying that uh, to make certain colors, you're going to have to use yellow. So you, you maybe you don't have yellow on your page, you're still going to use yellow. But in this example, it's, it's eight cents per uh, per page to print a, um, uh, a copy plus whatever the extra paper costs for these particular machines. And then if you wanted to print a black or white page, you know, right there's your cost. It's going to be two cents a page. So, you know, if you're you're printing a thousand pages, you know, that's twenty bucks to print a thousand pages on this but, uh, in black and white. If you're printing a thousand color, um, what is that? Uh, Oh, I have to get my calculator out of that one. So, anyways, that's that's how you get to your cost. What it costs you to run your machine, as far as your your supplies, and then you know, and then you have to add in your your actual you know cost that you purchase it at and all that stuff too. Hey, so Steve, here's a, an example. Steve, of, Steve pause yeah. just a moment. So um, for those who are here this evening and those who are going to hear this later. This is important information because so often um, we who are trainers, notary instructors, hear from the new signing agents and mobile notaries, um, what should we charge? How much should my fees be um, in addition to your notary fee? And what you're told is you've got to figure out the cost. What does it cost for you to perform a service? And part of that cost is this right here, your print costs. And so don't skim over this. This is critical information. Um, the formula so that you can take that home, take it home with you and um, figure it out. Um, but again, if you do have questions about whatever Steve is saying, you can feel free to unmute and ask him. All right, thank you, Steve. Go ahead, continue. Okay, sure. And, and then you, you know you have to look at each printer is different. Every manufacturer is different. So you know a, a brother, a similar brother may get um, you know eighteen hundred pages for thirty seven ninety nine. So it's a very complex uh, formula to you know not very complex, but it's complex to give you pricing on all every machine out there. So, you know, it's a simple formula. We're just dividing these two numbers into each other to get the cost per page. Um, now, if you buy a reman, so you could buy, so going back to these pricing, this is OEM, which means the original equipment manufacturer. You could buy compatible cartridges where they basically will take, a lot of times they just take these old cartridges and fill them back up. Or they manufacture new cartridges and, you know, put ink in them. So the one thing you're going to see with those uh, and most of those ones, the quality is not quite as good. You know, they're a lot cheaper. But in, in my experience, is like, you know, when you look at the the inks in there, when I look at them, like, see how nice some, you know, it's a nice magenta uh, color, and the yellow is nice and bright, and the blue is nice and bright. Those will be, you know, there'll be more pinkish color for the magenta. It'll be like a lighter blue. So you don't you don't get as good a quality print. So you know, if you were doing a photo. And you need a really good real life uh, color, you know, you're not going to get it from a, a reman uh, cartridge or an aftermarket third party as you would uh, on the original one. It's just because they're using cheaper material. That's how they get around it. So, so the and the same thing uh, that I just showed you there. Here, here's for an example of a laser printer. So, the, you know, these are a little bit more expensive. You know, this is something that costs maybe six hundred dollars. Um, now the big difference is is this inkjet up here is you know somewhere around um, I think it's this one was 28 or 30 pages a minute, whereas now the lasers can go a little faster. So this one's around uh, 45 pages a minute. So as you can see in the in the, the cartridges they get a higher yield. So so you, for every four cartridges of these uh, these ones up here because you're only getting 1600 pages. Um, you know, you use one toner cartridge, so th these last a lot longer. And this is on a you know the lower end, on a little bit higher end machines. You know, like I said, they're twenty thousand, thirty thousand pages for a toner cartridge, and the cost doesn't go up exponentially. You know, a twenty thousand k cartridge may only be two hundred and fifty dollars. So you go up, you know, you you go up a lot 
uh, when you go up to the bigger machines. And I'll, and I'll show you that when we get to that spot there. But uh, so I did the same map here. And in this case here, you can see the, the color cost per page is, uh, you know, uh, 14 cents for uh, for this particular one here. You know, this is a, um, a, a lower end. And that's the one thing I want to talk to you about is, so when you go with the lower end printers, what you're going to see is the cost per page is going to be a lot higher. Um, one of those big A3 copiers, uh, color copies are only like six cents a page on those. So, you know, it's all about how efficient those machines are, the size of the stoner cartridges and things like that. So, you know, you're you're more than less than half the, uh, the cost of uh, for one of those big, big copiers. So, so that's how you got to calculate, you know, what it cost, what it's going to cost you to run that printer um, in your office. And then with our program, we kind of give, uh, you know, make it easy. You know, you're not buying toner cartridges. We just give you a cost per page, and we rent you the printer for a certain cost per month, so you, you'll know it's a little bit, you know, how to, uh, to to see that. So a couple of things about maintenance on these machines. Um, in, in an inkjet, you have print heads in these things. So that's the part that actually down through these little holes here is where it uh, sprays the ink out onto the page. So these things are very, very expensive. And uh, our company, we actually do not even support inkjet printers because they're too expensive to operate and too expensive to repair. The inkjet printers, once they die, once that print head dies, and, you know, to replace that is usually almost as expensive as a brand new printer anyways. So that's where you got to be careful with uh, with inkjet printers. And the one of the biggest problems with inkjet printers is if you don't use them for any while, um, the ink gets dried up in the head and it just clogs them up and you can't use them. I mean, they're done. You could try, we've resurrected some like putting some alcohol on there and all that, but most of the time, once that ink gets all dried up in there, um it, it's done and that's the other thing is ink that cartridges don't store very well for you know if they're sitting around for a long time they start to dry out as well so um but all these pro all these things like the ink that head it, it's going to be rated to the number of pages that you print you know an uh, average ink jet printer may be rated at forty thousand pages and then they're saying you probably have to replace the print head at that point to get the quality back to where you want it um, the other thing is when you use third party ink, you have other problems because that ink is not as fine, it has particulate in it, uh, different matter, and you get little spots in your in your uh, print head that gets clogged up. So you get inconsistent prints on that. So so that's something that you don't see with a laser printer, uh, you know, with the with the the, uh, the problems you have with the inkjet um, print heads and stuff. So on the, on the laser jet, you have typically, if you have a, um, a multifunction, you have both of these where, you know, you have an ADF maintenance kit. That's the part where you feed in all your pages on the top. And then you have a, uh, a fuser maintenance kit. That's the part that w once the toner gets laid on the paper, the fuser goes, uh, the paper goes to the fuser. And that's what makes it bond to the paper. And these other pieces are all the little feed rollers. So usually... When you replace the fuser, you replace all the little rollers, the pickup rollers, the pick up the paper going in the trays and everything like that. So those are your maintenance kits. You're going to have that on no matter what, uh, Brother, uh, you know, Lexmark, whatever brand you're, you're going to get. So those are all things you have to add in to the cost of a purchase of a printer versus leasing or, main, uh, or running a printer. <laughs> and um, these are, again, rated by the number of pages. And I, you know, the ADF maintenance kit may be rated at 70,000 pages. So you can make 70,000 pages to your copier before it'll, it starts not to where it's not picking it up. And then sometimes you just wipe it off with alcohol and it works another 20,000 pages. But, you know, you might have to buy that kit. It's 35 bucks. You might be able to put it in yourself. Sometimes you can't. Some of the machines are harder. And then you have to have a tech come out. So you got some, uh, you know, service costs. You know, a lot of prices are 75 to $150 an hour for a service. You know, same thing with the fuser. Some of these machines are real easy. You open a door, you can pop it in yourself. Um, they, they call those uh, um, uh, customer replaceable uh, units, CRU. It's, a, it's something that any customer can do. It's, it's just like a toner cartridge. You open the door, you put the toner in, you can, you can pop it in and out. So, so that's 
kind of an overview on some of the printers and the things that you you should be aware of when when deciding or choosing a, a model. You know, whether you you look at something that we have or you know you're just going on Amazon, you know you're gonna find great deals out there on on stuff. You know, it's just your supplies or your expensive part. You, know, you could usually buy printers cheap, but it's your ink and toner and everything else that's expensive. So now, one other thing I want to just show is so. You can also see that when you do your math on your on your printers, you're going to find out that okay, my this is a two different HP models. I have an HP M404, which is a very small desktop printer. Um, this is a little bit uh, a bigger printer. It's a it's still a desktop printer, but it's a little bit more of a robust printer. Um, we rent that out. It's almost twice as much money a month to rent it out. But I'm going to show you how that works out. So in this case, because these are smaller printers and the toner cartridges are smaller, you're only getting like 6,000 uh, uh, prints out of a cartridge. It costs 2.3 2 cents a page is what that really says there. And in this case here, this one here, they have bigger cartridges. It's uh, 1.3 cents a page. So if you did 600 prints a month, that's your break even point. You know, these two machines cost you the same amount of money if you were renting this one versus this one, if you print 600 pages a month. So now when you go to 1,000 pages a month, um, you can see that this smaller machine is actually costing you more money. It's $29 a month versus $25 a month. Okay, Steve. And as you go to, yes. Excuse me. What does the $6 and $12 represent? Oh, I'm sorry. So that's what we rent it for in, in our in our scenario. We're actually renting you the printers here. So okay. that's your monthly rental cost. So if you were to rent a printer from us, <clears throat> excuse me, that's what that's what we would charge you. And this is what we we charge you uh, per page to print it. And we're just doing the same math. We're going in there and you know calculating the toner cost, figuring out what it costs, and we get better pricing. So we're giving you typically a better pricing here than you can do it yourself. So what, what I'm showing here is if we took 600 pages times my 2.3 cents a page and added my rent on there, it would cost me $19.80 a month for that printer. And in this particular printer, um, if I did the same math, it cost me $19.80. You know, that's kind of the break even point for these two models. But as you go up, so in this case, like if, at 2,000 prints, this one, because it's a high cost per page, it's two cents a page. Um, it costs you $52 a month to print those 2,000 pages. Where the one's $38. So that's where you got to put that math together. You know whether or not it's smarter for me to go to a bigger uh, a bigger model. You know because if you're doing that kind of volume, it usually is. So. All right. Pause. Um, again. Slow down. Um, Brian or and Kim. Nubian, do either of you have any idea? Can you go back to that slide, please, Steve? Sure. Do either of you have an idea about how many prints you're doing a month? I don't. I, um, I'm i just starting out. And so I wanted to see, I, I see a lot of uh, um, conversation on the on the different pages about which printer is best and and what to use and how many trays and all that kind of thing and I was always wondering which one was best what the cost per copy was because it looks like sometimes you have to take copies some people are actually copying on eight and a half by 11 if you're doing a, a, a signing and doing it in smaller and so that's why I came on today was because I wanted to get the information that was being shared as far as what the best printer is um, and what the cost is because no one ever talks about that. They just kind of talk about um, what their favorite printer is, but they don't ever really say why it's their favorite printer. Lasers seem to be at the top of the list. Um, and so, and, and a lot of them talk about brother with two trays, but HPs with two trays looked really good too. So that's kind of why I'm here because I'm in the beginning process of figuring out what really are the costs because no one ever talks about that. Exactly. And Kim, this is an Achilles heel to the business. It really is. It gets overlooked and that printing really cuts into the profit. Brian, any idea at all what your 
how much you're printing a month or is it too soon to say? Um, I'm actually in the same boat, so okay. too soon to say, but I'm in that analysis stage as well. And Good. I was curious to know pretty much the same questions that she had. All right. Well, okay. I'll pop in for just a second. Let's, yes. So, okay. So <clears throat> we know that a loan package is running us about 200 pages in Texas. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, same here. Um, so if, so if we're doing five a week, we're, do, we're double that, you know, so that's 400 times five is what? Here we go. Okay, that's 2,000 prints a week. Mm -hmm. Okay, just to give Steve kind of an idea. Now that's a low end, that's somebody who's just kind of getting started, mm -hmm. 2,000. So I would say that a really busy signing agent needs uh, what, 10 times that much? Yes. Yep. Yes. And yes. so we're talking 20,000 prints then um, a week. Because, if, they're doing, yes. if they're doing 20, let's, let, let's, let's say 10 that let's back it off and say 10. So 10 times 200 is uh, 2000 and then double that that's 4,000. All right. My mathematics is getting messed up here. <laughs> okay, so 4,000 a week. All right, so 4,000 a week times four, uh, 16,000 a month if they're doing what I just said. Mm -hmm. Let me write it down because I always have to have my grid out if I'm going to be calculating. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, so I'm saying 10 a week, right? Isn't that what I said? 10 times 200 would be the first layer, yes. 2,000. Yes. Double that for the copies. Okay. So that's 10 a week. <clears throat> and Steve, people are doing, that's only two a day. I would say an average busy person is doing four times that much. So mm -hmm. 8,000. Four to six a day. Wow. Yeah, yeah that's so, a lot of printing. And they're doing it with brother uh, and and uh, this little M404, which you, you, you've talked about here. Um, right. Well, we really don't do a whole lot of colors. Just some, I have a little, uh m20 to m277 on my it's a hp but i very seldom use it because i'm more about getting those loan documents out and that's a brother with two drawers so what these folks let me just ask this okay so you're saying if i leased an hp m 404 from y'all it would run me about six dollars a month for the rental and then well I'm just, this is yeah i'll get to the actual number this gotcha. was just okay. an example but just, yeah so you so the, know the, and the pricing are. yeah and the pricing that i have on 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 the next couple slides you know i just did it at a you know someone were to do a thousand pages a month you know uh the the higher mm -hmm. volumes the pricing is going to be yeah. much lower so but um I'll just show you like, a, you know, an example of our, how we price our stuff out. So, okay. um, yeah. So, so, you know, this is where, uh, you know, like we I came up with that was the M404. It's, it's $6 a month to rent that. There's a, they have a Wi-Fi model, which is uh, $9, $9 a month. And then we charge, uh, you know, 2.3 cents a, a model, uh, a page. So, and then if you need an extra trade, it'd be an extra four dollars a month. So it'd be ten dollars a month for that, or thirteen dollars a month for that. And like I said, these, this is all just on a, a single printer, very low volume. You know, and, and when I it, you know find out more about what you're actually printing and everything, you know, it'll be probably less than this because we we can actually go lower on the pricing. You know, we have some customers that pay, you know, if they, this is one point three cents a page, and that works out to be, we have customers that pay 0. 0.9 cents a page. So you even get you know a bigger di uh, discount, but this will just show you the, an example of the of the of the, um, uh, the printers, you know the speeds, the the volumes that they recommend. So like in this case here, this one's at you know fifteen thousand page a, a month volume that they recommend. Um, but now you can certainly go um, you know to a uh, print a lot more than fifteen thousand pages. But that's where you know it shortens the life of the printer. So most of these printers are rated at five years. Um, some I I worked for a company before this 
we did all, you know, everything we do here at the, at the company I work at now is all brand new equipment. We don't mess around with used, refurbished, anything like that. The company I worked at before, for the last 10 years before this, that's all they did was re refurbished, remanufactured, everything. And, you know, they made a killing on their on their thing because they were charging the same price that we're charging for new. And they're sending used equipment out. They bring it, they buy bulk, you know, 500 printers at a time, bring them in the shop, you know, throw a new fuser, throw some rollers in there, clean it up, ship it out. And you might be lucky, you get one that works really good. You might get lucky, or, you know, not so lucky where it's not so great. So, so our company, we don't really mess around with the, you know, refurbished stuff. So these are all brand new HP printers. But you can see, you know, when you, you go up to the next model, it's, you know, it goes considerably less per page. So the way our program, you know, I guess I didn't really explain that too much. So we, you know, you can either purchase a printer, um, you know, outright yourself. You're going to take a, you know, that big hit up front. And then you got to pay along the way for any maintenance parts, service, or anything like that. Um, you could also do the same thing with a lease. And with a lease, so really with a lease, you know, you're actually leasing it with the bank. You know, even though you're going through some printer company, the way the printer companies work or the copier company work is, they're doing all the paperwork for the bank. They pretty much sell that note off to the bank after you um, purchase the, you know, you, you're purchasing the printers for more or less from them is how they look at it. And they kind of wash their hands and they're like, well, okay, you got the printers and we, you know, you know, we don't have to worry like, uh, like we do when we rent them, we, we actually own the printers. So we want to make sure we take care of them. We, we fix them up and make sure they're running all the time. So, like I said, the the on the lease they sell that off to the bank, and now you're obligated to the bank. So, and and the, and the drawback too with leasing is usually you're typically personally uh, obligated on a lease um, agreement. So it's it's not just a company lease agreement. It's, you have to personally sign for that. Um, the other thing is there's leasing fees and expenses and stuff like that with leasing, and you're kind of locked in. So if you were to lease a you know a bigger machine. You know, that's it. You're, it's like leasing a car. You can't turn around and send it back and say, you know, this ain't working right or I need a bigger model or whatever. Um, you know, with renting, we can we have that flexibility. So that's kind of what we, we do with our program is, you know, if you were to go with a start off with a smaller printer and you end up needing a bigger one, we could swap it out. We just change the, you know, the monthly rental rate. You know, we, we put you back down to the lower cost per page. You know all that kind of stuff. So that's the beauty. It's not a like you're locked into a, a, a long-term contract like a lease. I mean, there is an agreement that we have. It's a you know it's a it's, we do a three-year, five-year, three-year, five-year agreements because you know it costs lots, a lot of money to put these equipment out there. But um, you know it's not like you're personally locked in uh, financially like a lease is. So you know these are examples of kind of like I guess a, a good, better, and best. Uh, printer line and the, and the big differences are, are going to be the this one's 45 pages a minute these start at 55 go up to 75 pages a minute so if you're printing a lot of pages you know if you got a 200 page um document you know this is you're talking three minutes to get this document out on this machine uh or maybe five minutes on this and an inkjet maybe 10 minutes you know and okay. then you have a paper jam in there. Steve, I'm itching for you to move that page up. I need you to scroll up. My impatience is getting okay. next to me. Cool. Okay. Good. good. So, so the the first one, the first line was the mono printers. These are the mono uh, copiers or multifunction printers. So again, you have the same scenario: the low end, um, which is you know the higher cost per page, but lower to rent. And then you have, you know, your uh, medium and high end machines. So all these can be, um, you know, they all come with the basic functions of print, scan, uh, copy. Now to add, you know, there's a fax card that we can add in there. So it's an extra five bucks for that. If you want to put it on a, a stand or a tray or anything like that, um, we can. So these all will scan the email. Now, in, a, in, a, in an environment like yours where you got 200 doc, 200 pages, uh, a lot of times you can't scan the email. So you need to scan it to something like your computer 
or like a Google Docs, because a lot of email uh, servers will not accept a document that large. We, we, It'll know that it back, all so. too, we know that all too well, don't we, Brenda? Um, yeah, so this allows you to scan directly like to a Google, uh, a Google Drive or a OneDrive, I mean, Google Docs, OneDrive, things like that. Um, or you can scan it to your computer and then move, move it up to Google Docs uh, and whatever sharing that you use. So, you know, again, our, our cost is the, you know, the monthly rental and the um, whatever extra accessories you need plus the, you know, this what you paid per page. And all these, that includes all your uh, toner, park service, you know, we don't charge you extra. Like a lot of these leasing companies, they charge you for everything. So this is where the gotcha is too on these uh, leasing companies. Um, when you, you know, they will charge you, like they start you out with a lower cost per page and uh, you have escalators built into the leases. So, you know, the first year is maybe, maybe it's less than what I'm selling here, but by your second year, you know, you're getting close to this and by your third year, you're paying more than this. So we just have a one flat rate across the board for, you know, the term of the agreement. You know, we don't change that um, on you. And the other thing is, um, you know, they, a lot of companies charge you every they nickel and dime and everything. You know, they charge you for shipping the toner cartridges. You know, if, it, if it's 10 bucks more for that cartridge, now it's not 1.2 cents a page, it's now 1.4 cents a page. So all these add into the cost of uh, what it costs you to print that on that machine. And um, um, Steve? Yeah. All right, yeah. let's pause for a moment. So I wanna hear from the group. Um, and from you, Steve. So it looks as if the three options on the top of this page won't allow you to scan, fax, correct? No. Yeah. These three here that, that I have highlighted? No, above. Oh. Oh, look, these three here. Are any of those multifunction? Yeah, the, these first three are all printers alone. Uh, they're, they're mono, you know, black and white printers. These are black and white multifunction machines here. Okay. All right. And we do, so Kim and um, if Brian is still here and definitely Nubian, you probably know, we do a ton of scanning and a good number of faxing. So just keep that in mind. All right, and um, Steve, I do want to leave more, uh, some time for other Q&A for you and then for us. So if you can hit the other pages quickly. Sure. So, you know, I have the same thing for, you know, these are color printers. So a pricing guide for the color printers. You know, again, um, you can see where it's, you know, 18 cents a page on the lower end and it's 10 cents a page for, you know, the higher end machine, you know, it looks like this one actually worked out to be a little bit even less than the, the higher end one. So it all depends on the cartridges and what you, what you get them purchased at. So we have the same thing like we had on the other slide. These are just color uh, MFPs, you know, same kind of printers and copiers. They're just, uh, they allow you to print in color. Whether a color printer or not, it allows you to scan in color. They all allow you to scan in color. And then, um, so the these are where you start getting into the the actual copier, and you can see that the cost per page goes down dramatically. So, but the, the you know the cost per month to rent it uh, starts getting more expensive, and the, these also have the option of a stacker. If you're if you're you know, creating big booklets and you, you know, staple through a bunch of print uh, um, seats. These are great for that. So these are your black and white uh, uh, copiers. So we have two different models. These are 25, 30, and 35 page uh, per minute. And then these ones over here are the 40, 50, and 60 page per minute. So those are your um, black and white copiers. And then you're going to have booklet finishers too for those. Um, and then your color copiers. So you can see the cost per page to print a color is a lot less. So it sounds, and, you know, 
it sounds as if if I were interested in buying, you or someone else would sit down with me and ask me some questions because someone like Kim who's starting out, she's not going to need the mambo jumbo machine yet, but she's hoping a year from now she might need that. Yes, yeah, sure. Okay. And, and that's the nice thing about our leasing. We can basically, you know, put you in a, a you know, one of these smaller machines. And a year from now, you say, well, I need a bigger one. We'll, we'll swap it out. Or a lease, or if you purchase it, you're stuck with it. You know, at least you're pretty much stuck with it as well. So, um, and and then this just kind of shows you all the different models that HP has. You know, they rate them by the speed. They have the 25, 35, 45 page. Um, we even have, you know, some inkjet printers here too that are, you know, they, they go pretty fast. Um, but these are your color and then your monochrome. So there's, you know, these models change all the time constantly. So, so that's, you know, that's pretty much, um, you know, how our program works. I, I mean, I, you know, you could certainly shop around and, and you might find them cheaper uh, from other companies. You know, our, you know I'm not going to lie, you know, we, we are a little bit more expensive than a lot of other managed print services companies are because we we really have the you know the infrastructure the the you know the techs out there all that kind of stuff there's a lot of companies that don't um have that in place and they just use you know whoever the local company is to fix some of stuff like that so all right. um but that's that's pretty much that so all right so steve and then before we take questions i want you to summarize it what remind me if i want one of these I order it, and then what do I have to do to get it in my home? Okay, so basically there's no upfront cost. I mean, you just uh, sign the, the agreement, and once you tell me to go, I put the order in, and I just have it sent to you. Well, you could have it two ways. We could either, you know, if you don't want it shipped directly to your house, we'll send it to a local office or a local distribution center that we use. And they'll assemble it there, and then someone will come and deliver it to your house. A lot of people will just have it shipped to their house. They're not real; these aren't real big monster machines or anything like that. And then we send a tech to your house and have them install it for you. They'll actually set up the machine on your computer, uh, set you up for the, you know, scan email or scan whatever you need, um, you know, and show you how to use the machine as well. And then with our with our program, you know, we have a a uh, huge help desk here. So if you ever have any questions or, you know, you can always call me obviously, but you could call in and they could walk you through anything you need. If you have a uh, need for a tech to come on site, there's a there's a phone number on the front of the machine. You call that number, tell them that ID. Someone will come right out within, you know, you, you, we have a four hour response time now. And depending on where you're at, maybe it may not be a four hour tech on site. Maybe someone help me over the phone with them you know, four hours, but most of the places that tech will be on site within four hours. All right. My next question. And did you have one, Brenda? I did. I did. <laughs> I, I think what I would like to do, not right this minute, but before we finish, is to focus on that 45 page per minute mono printer, the uh, E50145DN, and just okay, this one, yeah. a scenario, because that is kind of what I would recommend for notary signing agents, you know, sort of, that would be a good startup, startup for them with those, with the tray and all. So just get an estimate of what that would cost when it, when it's a good time. It's a good time. Yeah. yeah so, I, I mean, this pretty much is uh, based upon, you know, the rental cost will probably be about the same, no matter what that usually doesn't change. What changes is, is the cost per page, and it's by okay. the volume. See, so uh, I would imagine. Let's let's say that we want we want one of those those compute those printers, and then we want the extra tray, um, mm -hmm. stand, and and we need it wireless because that really would be the desirable thing for a notary signing agent. And this person is going to print. Um, you've got fifteen thousand pages as a monthly volume, but. Let's just say they're going to be printing ten thousand a month. What would that look like? And so, so uh, that's most likely be the same. 
we had the same monthly rental of, of the twelve dollars per month, and the cost per page would probably uh, I'd have to get my little calculator out because see we have these formulas and everything. But yes. I, I'm, I'm thinking cost per page would be about uh, instead of point zero one three point zero one one maybe even okay. point zero one. Yeah. So you know it, it goes that down. Above, I mean, is, that, is that charged above the printer cost? Um, the monthly printer cost is that charged above that, or is that included in it? No, that, that's above the, the monthly cost. So okay, that's remember what how I we were calculating. That's yeah, good. yeah. Remember how we were calculating the toner cost above? Okay. We were saying it was like two point four cents. So you know, in this case here, we got you down to uh, point uh, or one point three cents per page, so or, or less actually. Well, I'm going to tell you how much that would cost you that a month uh, if you had did ten thousand a month. Just you know, just so right at. Let's see, would that be another hundred a month? So the thirteen. Well, yeah, at one point one cents would be one hundred and ten dollars a month plus the twelve dollars, so one twenty-two. Okay. All right. Yeah. And and the way to the way to look at that is is. So those toner cartridges are twenty thousand dollars. I mean, twenty thousand pages for around two hundred and some dollars. So you're going to buy a, a two hundred dollar cartridge every other month. Believe me, we understand cartridge <clears throat> costs. I'm seeing this as a, yeah. like that's like two new cartridges, and um, yeah, I mean that's that that's a controlled cost on your um, on your maintenance. Okay, that my question's been answered. Y'all can move along now. <clears throat> So, so one more thing I'd like to say about that too is the, so that, you know, our cost is no matter what you put on that page, if you printed a whole picture or a big, you know, uh, if you if you buy your own toner cartridges and you print a, a bunch of black on the page and you burn up for your toner, you may only get like 12,000 pages out of that 20K cartridge, so. Hey, um, hang on one second. Um, Brian had questions as well. Yeah, hey, Steve, quick question. So I noticed a lot of your diagrams and uh, mention HPs, and that's actually what you'd recommend in the beginning. So I'm curious why you recommend an HP, um, say, versus like a brother 6200. So if you look at that brother 6200, I because I, I just actually had someone ask me about that one. I believe that machine's only rated about a 4,000 pages a month. So you're going to see in a lot of these machines is they have three usually levels is like a uh, they, this an HP's version is called their pro model, and then they start getting into that's where the E comes in the front. These these are their enterprise models. So brother. I guarantee you they have a comparable model to this that's probably just as good. You know, everybody, they're all good. I'm not going to say HP is better. You know, I've, I'm more familiar with HP. I just feel like HP gives you a better bank for your buck and they're more reliable. I've been with, using HP for the last 25 years and never had any issues. But I know a lot of people that have brothers and they work just as good. So I think all the technology is pretty close to the same nowadays. Yeah, and Brian, I started off with HP, and for me, it was a workhorse. I mean, it just churned them out. Brother, the price was a little lower, I'll be honest with you, but I've had more hiccups. You know, nothing mm. enough to make me want to throw it out the window, but enough to affect me getting to a lot, getting docs at the last minute and getting printing and getting to that appointment quickly. I didn't run into that as much with HP. Um, and you, you currently have the HP now? No, I still have brother, but ah, okay. I'm doing less signing agent work, more general notary work. So mm -hmm. I am not printing lots of docs like I used to. Okay, what I'm doing is very different today than what I was doing back in 2006. All right, um, but I'm glad you asked that question, Brian, because I know in um, signing agent groups, it's all about the brother. That's all yeah. we've been hearing about. And I do feel that is uh, incomplete. It just, 
there's there's more out there. Anyone? Well, and, and a lot of that's because Jake and I, we, we found that they work for us. So y'all are just making me look bad. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I want, I want to come to, you know, find out some things here. Um, but if you, but okay, so set those aside. Jake and I have analyzed this 404 recently because Robert has one and, and I've done, and I had one at work and those, those come out about like the brothers do. The only thing is you've got to pay a little more for that extra, uh, the extra uh, drawer, but no, I, I think there's some really good deals here. I mean, I just think it'd be amazing if all you had to do was pay 150 bucks a month to print and you got all this printing included in it. Because it includes your toner, right? Mm hmm That's, that's, that's correct. Your toner. So the toner, parts, service, labor, everything. Sorry. The only thing that's not included is your paper. That's true. Correct. And we actually have an option to give you paper because we're part of Staples, but uh, we, we typically, it, we found that it's not any better deal than what you're probably getting from the store. So we don't offer very often. Okay. But the smart people yeah. are here because they're seeing that, the, that these cartridges are not cheap and you can actually ruin, your, you know, so, brothers gotten smart enough that, that they can cause you to, you know, really make a mess if you use an off-brand. I don't use off-brand. I don't either. So this is really a way to lock in exactly what it's going to cost you every month. If yeah. you're like me, yeah, and, I and, not do that. And something else I just want to mention too, if you, you know, if you look at other companies, I mean, I, I certainly uh, invite you to shop around because, you know, like there's a lot of people that do this. So, um, but, you, you know, a, a, a lot of companies, um, they basically will uh, set their pricing up so they got escalators in there. Um, they, there's a lot of hidden costs and stuff like that. So you got to be kind of careful with a lot of those things. You know, make sure that you're looking at the fine details on that kind of stuff. Our, our agreement's a one-page simple agreement there, you know. So, um, and, and Steve, if you, if you rented one of these, would you be required to go ahead and you, you would want, you would have to use that, uh, OEM toner because that's what y'all are providing and and this is just going to come up you know as a question so you would not approve of somebody going and grabbing another uh, like an off brand and sticking it in there. Well, we we wouldn't want to do that. We'll we'll supply you all the toner you want. You know, right. um, you can have yeah. You call us up. We'll send you a toner card. They don't have no problem with that. But we actually have an automatic toner replenishment program. We have a little, wow. a little box that you put plug into the printer, and then it, it goes on the internet and says, "Hey, they're low on toner, and we send you the toner automatically." And then we collect the the uh, the page count, so you don't have to call those in or anything like that. You know, some companies will make you do that. So um, I'm impressed. Now, I think it's great. Yeah, is that included yeah, in the monthly yeah. fee? Yeah, that's all included. Everything is included in there. Nice. And, and the other thing is, I, sorry. So we we only charge you for what you what you actually print. Um, some companies will include like say two thousand clicks a month, and they their price is a little higher. So all they're doing is figuring out those numbers and charging you more. Now, if you only if you only print eight hundred. You know, you lose or use or lose it kind of thing. So now your cost per page with them is three print, three cents a page. So there, there's a lot. It's like almost like car dealers when you're dealing with these guys. See, I'm a system engineer. I'm not really a sales guy here. Um, I, I've been in a computer and somehow I got you know involved with just doing this part of it. And uh, so I'm just you know I like to give you the numbers and you make your own educated decision what you think is best for you. You know, I really like how you laid it out. Any last, I, what can you tell us in your last two minutes here? Any last, anything uh, you weren't able to cover? Well, nobody has any more questions. You know, that's pretty much it. You know, it's a, it's a pretty basic program. Oh, looks like Kim has a question. I, I, I do. So, I so. Michelle and Brenda, since I haven't started this, are you looking at the one that 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 would print at fifteen thousand pages? Um, and it says it's it's based on a five year agreement. So if I started lower, um, 
well, I'm, I'm thinking, which one would you guys think that that would accommodate your business as far as, because say if you get into agreement for five years, but you need something that has more print capacity, is that something that you can change? Or once you get into that agreement, are you locked into that agreement for five years? I, I like that one. I think that's a good signing agent setup right there. And, you know, they might wind up with two of them, but... Okay. That would be, but I mean, I'm, I'm a separate scanner kind of gal too, but okay. okay, Steve may have some input on that. I don't have a problem with the five-year agreement, but he might, you know, have some. Yeah. Okay. And we'll talk some more so, in a minute. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Steve. Okay, sure. So I was going to just say, you know, if you say you were started with an M404 and, and then six months from now, you're like, I need a bigger print. It's starting to cost me too much money. We swap it out and put this in there for you, you okay. know. So, and the same thing with that, because it's just a running, you know, like at least you're stuck with the whatever printer you lease, because they're the bank's got the serial number, they got a lien on that equipment and everything like that. Um, you know, I, I personally, if in, in my recommendation is, I, I, you know, whether you do HP or not, I think it's always good to have the uh, copier or scanner or everything because. You'll find you use that a lot, you know. Um, if you if you don't have a separate scanner, you know you'll find that. And these have a pretty big capacity where you can put it in a uh, hundred feet at a time and copy. So, and they even can scan bigger than a hundred feet. So, say you have three hundred sheets, it has a job build function. You scan a hundred pages, then ask you for the next hundred pages, and so on. And they'll scan it and send it to you in the email or to your Google Docs. So, but yeah, you could go, I mean, you could start off with one. I mean, you know, obviously we don't want to just swap equipment around every month or every other month. There's some limitations to that, but, you know, they'll certainly upgrade you or even downgrade you. We have customers that have a hundred offices, they close 10 of them. We got to take back the equipment, so. All right, and Steve, I can provide the group with your contact information. Um, is that, the best way to reach you by phone, by email, if we want to make a purchase or if we have yeah, questions? Yeah, certainly. Um, I would I would definitely, you know, reach out to me and I can get you the, the actual pricing. It would, you know, like I said, this is, you know, based upon just a thousand prints a month. So it's not the cheapest rate I can offer. Um, the more volume, obviously, the higher, you know, the better the rates go. So yeah, reach out to me and I can give you a, a personalized quote. And um, you know, if you have any questions, and I can even, you know, if you, if you want to see some other of our competitors, I can even give you some of their information as well. So you price it out. You know, it's good to shop around. Kim, Nubian, Brian, any last questions for um, Steve? And um, I'd like after Steve leaves us for Brenda and I to be able to, since you all are new, to answer some more questions that you have about this and other things related to being new signing agents. But any last questions? I don't have any last okay. questions for Steve. Um, Steve, I really appreciate what you did. Um, you impressed me, believe it or not, right after we booked this or we didn't set the date, but we knew we were going to work together. I heard from finally RJ Young. And of course, well, you don't know me, but I think you do now. I'm pretty direct. And I told him he was a day too late. You know, don't call me now. So thank you for being a man of your word. This was extremely helpful. I'm glad you allowed us to, oh, I shouldn't have said that, I'm re recording, but hey, it's true. <laughs> um, you're a man of your word, that means a lot to me. Um, because we recorded this, um, I'll be putting it in my Facebook group. I'm sure Brenda will be putting it in hers. And um, I'm confident that you will treat our members very well. So thank you. Well, thanks for having me.
I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thanks, Steve. Thank you, Steve. Sorry for that abrupt interruption while ago, but thank you. This is great. Very informative. Yeah, yeah for sure. So to for Cara, sure. Nubia, Kim, Brian, if you want to stick around because um, you may have questions, Brenda and I are true signing agent dinosaurs. Um, <laughs> and we're proud of it. Yeah, we're proud right. of it. So um, this is my, my suggestion to you. If you are really committed to this role, notary signing agent, don't be cheap about the printing. Too often what I'm seeing in the Facebook groups, oh, I'll, I'll make do. They take a picture of their one drawer brother printer and just say they'll swap out paper. They'll use this app for the page sorter. Don't do it. Don't do it. You will get your, your new. You're going to get appointments that other folks turn down for a while. Okay. You're going to get last minute. So your documents for a 7 p.m. appointment might hit your inbox at 6.30 p.m. You need something that can churn out those documents and get you out the door. Um, I think it is a common newbie mistake to go cheap on the printer and it bites them in the booty every time. So that's my me. advice. It did me, I, I used inkjet printer for my very first loan closing, even though I read in the notary form not to do it. Uh-huh. And really we, just, the difference between us is that we didn't post about it and then get mad when people told us that wasn't okay. <laughs> right, right. Exactly. Yeah. All okay. right. Can what I ask a question? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. So I know Brenda, you had said that you are of the opinion that a separate scanner is good. Um, I'm curious about both of your thoughts on that. I was actually looking at the multi-function and I like that. It, um, those are nice. Um, yeah. They're a little bit slower, but you can't put one of those in the car and take it with you if you need to scan back at the table. You yeah, can exactly. always throw a, a, a separate document scanner in the car and mm -hmm. even power it from like, one of those invert those small inverters like a Ryobi power tool um, inverter. I mean, it, it, they take power tool batteries and you generator. can plug them in and yeah. they make nice little okay power packs. That's okay. why. That's the only reason why I think. Yeah, I I agree. Um, back in our day, it wasn't the sense of urgency wasn't the same. Mm -mm. You, we were allowed to do the closing, come home, and scan whatever needed to be scanned. Mm -hmm. But it sounds as if companies now um, don't want, in fact, we could leave one appointment, go to another, into another, and then come home at the end mm -hmm. of the evening and do all of that. And it sounds as if that's not the case. So, um, if you're they gonna, want them immediately. So if you're going to do this full time, you will want something that will allow you to scan from the signing table or from your car, um, something that's mobile, eventually. Why, why do they want them scanned back immediately? They're waiting to fund. Oh, and they're like waiting on the signatures to fund right then and there. Before that, before the, before like three or five o'clock in the afternoon. Okay. Oh, interesting. Our first okay. thing in the morning. That's why, you know, I think it started out because it was a quality assurance check, but then, and it, that goes on, that's part of it. But if it's, you know, like if I do a buy a seller or a buyer or Right. something like that then it's because they're trying to finish that deal and and literally there are realtors sitting around that table waiting for their check oh <laughs> that's right. okay yeah, okay a that's lot fair. of pressure on those people right okay oh that's interesting that's yeah. good to know that's good to know but i want to tell y'all since we've got a small little group here i'll just tell you and i'm not gonna get too wordy but 
I was telling Michelle and another thing we were involved in together recently that it, loan packages are so much harder for me to get through now. They are just so many little boxes to check. And it's like, it was a little bit, I mean, so when you feel like, you know, well, the, or we talk like, I don't know why y'all are having a problem with that. We had a problem with that. Well, we didn't because I don't believe it was nearly as complicated. And so we've grown up with that. I finally, it's finally coming to me. There's a lot more to it now. A lot more little details. Okay. So I just, I actually, so my youngest just went off to college. So I actually get to go back out and be with people. And this is just perfect for, for me. So I, I noticed when I was signing it in, in my docs that there's a power of attorney. I think it's for the title company that if there were little pieces missing, mm -hmm. that they could go on and sign. So is that like a real, it, it looks like everyone is, um, it's is a limited power of attorney. Yeah. So, so, and it, it, it seems like, so if, if you miss something, then they can go in and, and maybe fix it or sign it. Well, or that's true. But, but the, the thing is that's happening with these loan packages is that many of them are just, they want them as perfect as possible okay. because another right. lender is going to buy them. Okay. Okay. And so they, they don't want any of that because right. any little thing that they change in the background like that is going to give it just a little bit of a cloud. Okay. Okay. That's good to know, but I'm kind of, well, not sure. OCD, I'm thrilled I'm kinda, to answer those yeah, kind of questions. I'm particular with how it did, but I noticed that was in my package and I don't remember that being, maybe it was in my package before, but I noticed that and I'm like, oh, okay, well, this is, this is kind of a, a nice, a, a nice thing to have, I think, in just in case something was missed. And, so. and you wonder, you know, why they don't just use that more often, but Thank it's you. Thank you. That's what I want to know. But yet, no, they're like, you got to go back out. You got to get this oh, done. Because right. they, want those, they want those documents to be as error-free as possible. Okay. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah. I the, just the happen to live in an area. If it, okay. if it can't be sold. Okay. Oh, interesting. Oh, oh that's yeah. good. No. I actually live in an area. I'm in Boise, Idaho. Okay. Uh -huh. So you would think Boise, Idaho is a big area. I live in a city that actually... <laughs> At my home and I have a beautiful, a beautiful home where we don't really even have cable inter internet. I get it through CenturyLink and my uploads is like three MPBS. So I am limited with what I can do. So I've kind of asked around, hey, what can I do? But it's, it's that thing where I, in a, even in a big city, I don't necessarily have the technology, so I'm going to have to work around that and figure out how to how to work around that. Um, but yeah, so I was I I'm noticing everyone the scan backs and all that, so I've got to make sure that I'm up to up to par with what I need to do in order to complete those transactions, get them right back, scan backs right away, scan backs. As soon as I saw scan backs, I'm like, oh my gosh, does my internet oh. even allow this? <laughs> You know, you might want to, um, I don't know what your Verizon phone is like. What? One second. I want to say Solana Nubian, who's hopping off. I'm really okay. sure you're able to stay on. And then I know I want to um, stop the recording. Oh, we'll sure. Yeah, sure. We'll continue. So okay. um, hopefully this information about Total, US, Total Print USA and Steve yes. Plastic was helpful. Um, we'll be posting this recording in different groups and we will include, Brenda, I don't know if you want to in your groups, but you're welcome to. I'll send you the link. Sure. And um, go direct to Steve. Um, he didn't offer any specials to us, um, but go ahead and ask for one when you reach out to him. And this is Michelle, Brenda and Kim and Chakara signing off.